The Adventures of Green Girl, The Adventures of Green Girl, A Girl's Adventure Going Green. Hi, I'm Lily, but for the purposes of this blog, I'm going to call myself Green Girl because I grew up completely green and I'm a girl. So there you have it. Why did I grow up green? Well, basically because my mother is incredibly chemically sensitive. When she was just a little bit older than I am now, I'm 25, she was chemically poisoned. She was working in a restaurant and the gas oven exploded. And she was in um, her apartment building when they used an extermination product that was so neurotoxic that it's been taken off the market. Um, she went into like a black spiral of depression and anger and um, had classic organophosphate pesticide poisoning but no one knew and so she checked herself into a mental hospital um, which is crazy and she was there for a few months before someone finally um, got her in touch with the right doctor who diagnosed her correctly and ever since then she had to kind of live in a bubble free of chemicals which is really hard in this world so um, yeah, she's a lot better now, but when I was growing up, you know, it was really hard. We had to be incredibly green. Um, so yeah. And then, of course, my mom became this, like, incredibly impressive woman who wrote five best-selling books on green living and was named the foremost expert in the world on green living, so that was pretty cool. What was it like growing up green? Well, um, it was pretty different. Um... I was that kid that could not go to the mall with all of her friends and put on all the tester perfumes or go to Bath and Body Works. Um, in fact, I was the kid who would have friends over and they would need to take off all of their clothes and put on mine and leave their clothes outside because the long laundry chemicals and perfumes um, would bother my mother. So, um, yeah, that was embarrassing a little bit. Um, and, yeah, I couldn't put on nail polish inside. I had to use all organic products, um, so no, like, cool herbal essences, shampoo that I wanted really badly when I was a teenager, um, no, like, normal laundry products, no normal cleaning products. Um, so for, you know, a teenager and preteen who just wanted to fit in, it was kind of hard, um, but I also didn't fit the stereotype, I guess. So when I left home and, like, went to college, I thought I was going to go absolutely crazy and, like, wreak havoc in this commercial, chemical-filled world that I've been missing out on for so long, um, and I kind of started to. I, I tried to use, like, normal hair care products, like, I don't know, like, Pantene. Um, and I just, like, could not get past how much I knew about how bad these chemicals were for me. So I just couldn't do it. And I actually ended up, like, staying green and kind of embracing it on my own terms. Um, and... Yeah, it, you know, it hasn't really been that hard, I guess. Um, and I think that's why I'm here, is because I want people to see that it's easy to be green, even if you're, you know, a 20-something, low-income, like, seriously on a budget type of person. Like, I'm that, but I'm doing it. Um, and I just think people need to know how to. So I'm going to show you guys some of, like, my routines for cleaning, which is not fun, but has to be done, um, and, like, laundry, and, like, body products, and, um, yeah. So, my roommates and I have been totally green since we moved into our apartment, and we have had to come up with a lot of cheap but effective methods to go green, um, and I think that they could be helpful, because it's, you know, I don't always know what I'm doing either, but I figure it out, and that's part of the adventure. So uh, follow me on the adventures of Green Girl.